Hey folks, Alex of Bay Cities Construction. We're talking flooring today. We're gonna to talk laminate flooring. We're gonna talk engineered flooring. Everything you need to know about flooring for your new place. If you're doing a major remodel, you're remodeling your kitchen, you're remodeling your house, and you're considering flooring options, we've got a great show for you, so stay tuned. We're, we've got a great lineup. You can also download the show after we're done. So don't go away, we'll be right back. My name is Alex Rodriguez reminding you, you don't need a contract, you need a team of pros. What's up guys, we're talking flooring today and like always, we for the first five people that share our show, you got a free gift, we're also going to have a little quiz question. If you get your quiz answer, you get the answer right to your quiz question, I'll buy you dinner at the uh, Olive Garden. We also got some freebies, if you don't want a gift card, we can set you up with a Bay Cities hat. So let's get started with the show. Remember, you can always, if you're watching the show on broadcast, on a rebroadcast, you can uh, download the slides and keep them for notes. Uh, many times people uh, find some stuff and they want to go back to it and study it or get a name of a product or whatever we talked about on the show. And remember, last week's episode, we covered kitchen, open kitchen floor plans. So if you didn't capture, if you didn't watch that, uh, be sure to check it out. It'll be posted on this page. And um, obviously it's on Facebook and YouTube and all that good stuff. If you have any questions or you have you have any questions, go ahead and post them below. Even after the show, we always answer the questions. We always engage with you. We want to make sure that we uh, set you up with the right information for uh, as you're researching your project. So don't forget to do that. So tonight's episode, hey, floor, we're going to talk about flooring trends. We're going to talk about what SPC flooring is. We're also going to talk about a vendor of ours. Um, urban flooring that's one of the um, flooring manufacturers that we deal with and we're gonna review their product they have a, a very wide product range but tonight we're gonna talk about laminate flooring because it's a great a major trend in the flooring industry it's it's a, a, an amazing product it's a low-cost product and it's widely used all over the country uh, because of those attributes so we're gonna talk a little bit about that we're gonna talk in particular about the cascade line which is a laminate flooring line and then we're also going to talk about some of the projects that we've done with engineered flooring. We're going to talk about engineered flooring um, trends and um, installation and all that kind of cool stuff. So let's get into it right away. So let's talk about flooring trends first. So the trend has been really over the last uh, 20, probably 12 to 18 months, definitely wider planks. Um, not only in not only in in laminate flooring but also in tile we've seen our tile manufacturers come up with these wide long planks that mimic wood so it's definitely a trend that's here to stay um, there's a um, there's a big reason for that um, not only does the do, do larger planks look nice but they also have smaller there's basically less little uh indent not indentations but grooves for, for stuff to get into and also the some of the larger the larger spaces like your living room and stuff um, a wider plank looks nicer a wider larger plank looks nicer so this is a, a picture of of an engineered product okay definitely within the the trends right now it's, a, it's an oak product this beachy look if you're down here in the South Bay or really anywhere in California this is become very popular over the last few years the grays are in the grays are definitely in uh, even in the kitchen notice this is uh this space here bumps up against the kitchen with these open floor plants that are going on uh it is very common now to bring in a wood look into the kitchen flooring where where maybe four or five years ago that was like unheard of like nobody would do that you know the kitchen flooring was on its own this uh, if you look closely this particular product it's a, a wired product so basically they scrape the plank with a uh, wire brushes so that the gr the grain is a little bit more pronounced looks a little distressed pretty cool product this is again this is a uh, we're just talking trends right now right so we're not talking about the actual product of this review so I just want to give you a little bit of background nice this nice picture uh, 
Now, th this is kind of something that's definitely new. If you notice, th it's definitely a gray floor, but there's highlights in the grain, right? So if you look at, at like the the this section here, right? Like that's that's definitely a highlighted um, product that they put on there. The, the the there's almost like two tones of of color in here. Okay, that's definitely a trend. Now, distressed planks, um, not something new. Very popular though the, here in the South Bay. The cool part about the stressed, they're still in style. You totally still see them. The cool part is that you don't really have to refinish these floors. If the floors were were all like you know the same plane and stuff, and after a while they get scratched or dogs run around them or you move furniture around, then you have to refinish the floor every seven or ten years. With a, a distressed plank like this. You don't have to do that. You just put a little bit of um, oil on it, and um, and that's it. it. It'll 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 take the the highlight of the scratch away, and it just kind of blends in, and it's kind of worn. It's like like worn leather, right? Like leather jackets, leather luggage. When it's a little worn, it looks nice. Um, this is definitely um, a, a little bit thinner, uh, a little bit thinner plank, but longer, and um, definitely consistent with the current trends here's a close-up of some distressed wood it's been around for a while definitely the stress wood's been five years I wouldn't say the stress wood is dead by the way I think uh, there's still plenty of houses that, that dig that so let's talk about some of the things you should consider you got to consider where what room you're installing this in okay um, you got to consider the level of traffic that that room is going to get um, do you have access to the backyard where there's sand and grit that's going to be tracked in? Um, is this a hallway? Is is this flooring going to lead or bleed into the kitchen? So these are all things that, that you should consider. Um, in a high uh, moisture area like a kitchen or a bathroom for sure, you know, you want to consider maybe a, a porcelain that looks like wood if you like that wood look. So the, the location, right? Uh, dictates what kind of flooring you should have whether you have pets or not whether they're large pets or small pets if you have small pets in the house they're more likely to pee in the house because um, they've spent a lot more time inside the house uh, larger dogs kind of in and out you know like we have large German Shepherds they they hardly pee in the house um, the little guy who's in the house a little bit more sometimes gets locked in a little bit past their bathroom time and they have a little accident so anyway, th this, these are some of your considerations. Um, traffic, uh, pets, and, and the location of, of the flooring in relation to in, indoor-outdoor use. So here, here's um, like a traditional wood floor, right? Like a kind of a close-up. And you see, if you look closely, it's, you know, over time, it gets pretty beat up. So there's products that are more durable now. There's actually, I, I, in all honesty, I don't think there's a more exciting time for flooring than now. The the flooring options, whether it's tile that looks like wood, or laminates, or even the engineered stuff, really amazing, amazing selection, broad selection, and the, the products are definitely very durable. So you want to consider what your space is, right? Like the larger your space, the more expensive it's going to be, right? Um, so you got to be, the larger your space, you got to consider... Um, what your cost per foot is going to be for the actual material, right? So if you've got 5,000 square feet, you know, you may not want to pick stuff that's 25 bucks a foot. You know, you may want to pick something that's a little bit more, um, a little bit lower in, in price. So, you know, those are some considerations, how much of, of the product you're going to need, uh, what your total square footage is, compare that to um, the cost per foot and your budget. Now, the other thing you should consider is the maintenance. Now, maintenance has um, two components. There's, there's definitely like what you have to do to keep the floor looking nice, like how you're going to clean it. And the other part is what is the exposure to UV light? Uh, in this particular case, you know, you see over here on the top of the, the picture, this, there's a lot of exposure to UV light. If your glass doesn't have a UV, a UV film on it that protects against UV light, you are probably going to experience some discoloration, especially if it's natural wood. Any natural wood product, the darker woods, they're going to they're going to fade out. It's going to be um, something to consider. 
So that, that is definitely a major consideration uh, on your floors is do you want to have, how are you going to protect them? Are you going to protect them with a window film? Are you going to protect them with um, a window covering? Or are you going to have something that's a little bit more uh, UV light resistant? See this here? This is a great example. If you notice here, there used to be a placemat right here, right? So this, this leads probably to like a side yard or backyard. And there was a placement here. <clears throat> These big windows, if they're if they're in a part of the house where they get a lot of sun, you will easily see this kind of damage, particularly on natural wood. Let's talk about SPC flooring. Okay, so that's what we're talking about today. We did a, we've actually run a little test on the um, SPC flooring in question. Let's talk about what it is first of all. So, in a laminate, we're talking about laminates now. Okay. In a laminate, there's a few different layers you should probably be aware of. So you've got the wear layer, which is the top layer, and uh, on here is your basically your transparent layer, right? You've got a UV film, okay, that's gonna protect the layers beneath. In this case, the urban floor has a UV layer. It has a transparent wear layer. That protects a clear layer that protects the actual uh, print so this right here is the print material and that's what gives you the look of wood or what you know concrete or whatever the the flooring is mimicking right and then the SPC it's basically a vinyl layer right and that that's there and then right below that is a a, a um, I, I kind of like, kind of call it the, the traction or the cushion base and in some cases it's cork but um, in the case of the product that we're talking about today it's actually a rubber piece and, and this together makes up the laminate plank. Any questions about that? If you have questions, go ahead and post them below. Okay. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them below. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay. So the SPC flooring, it's, it's essentially waterproof. It doesn't, the, the core of it, let me go back, the core, this, this white layer here, does not absorb water, does not react with water. Okay. So that's an important uh, thing to consider. Flooring, all wood flooring, other laminates that are MDF, which is um, uh, medium density material or high density material, uh, any byproduct of wood, whether it's real wood or engineered, let's say it has plywood, if it gets wet and the water sits on it for a while, it will get damaged. If you mop it with a lot of water, you will damage it. This material here, the SPC, is much more resistant to these things than the um, than the other other products that have a wood a wood um, core. Okay, it's a big big difference. Let's talk a little bit about what uh, Urban Flooring is, or what, a little bit about the company. It was established two thousand three. This is information we put together as part of the, you know part of the, our research. For bringing them on as a customer but also as as we consider them uh, to be one of our vendors um, it's a, a pretty lengthy process when we bring on somebody new so they've been around for a while they got a pretty good distribution network throughout the u.s they make high quality products you can go on their website obviously urbanfloors.com they won't sell to you direct in fact they can't even post any prices online uh, all of the uh, Price quotes have to be done on an individual basis based on square footage and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, just they have quite a bit of different products. They have laminate, they have engineered, and they even have some um, some uh, solid core stuff. So they've got a bunch of engineered floors with different uh, surfaces, uh, everything from wired, distressed, uh, kind of that beach faded look. They've got a bunch of really cool stuff, so you should consider it going out on their website and checking it out. So let's talk about what we are actually reviewing, which is the Cascade series. We'll be right back. We're going to take a little break right now, and uh, we'll be right back, and we'll get started with Cascade series. All right? Don't go anywhere. The kitchen you want today from Bay City's Construction in the Southern California and Los Angeles area. There is no better company who takes time out of the equation to get you a detailed plan of what your new kitchen will look like. Get your design plans done, your interior design plans done, and entire project scope done right now. Get your finished kitchen in 90 days or less. We are the best in the Los Angeles and Southern California area, and there's no need to shop anywhere else. Just get started with Bay City's Construction. Go to baycitiesconstruction.com. That's baycitiesconstruction.com. 
looking for a bathroom remodel in the Southern California and Los Angeles area? If you've shopped and you've looked at prices and have no clue where to start, let Bay Cities Construction get you started with a quote of get design, interior design, project scope, and know exactly what it will cost to get your bathroom remodeled. There is no guesswork and no need to shop around. Just take time out of the equation and get your new bathroom in 90 days. Get your estimate now at baycitiesconstruction.com. That's baycitiesconstruction.com. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about the Cascade line. Now, I haven't told you this, but we're going to give you, I'm going to give you your first quiz question, your first quiz question. And in fact, I'm going to give you uh, Pete's coffee for the first quiz question. Can anybody out there guess how many years the Cascade series is warrantied for under, under residential use, not commercial use, residential use? Okay, first five people to get the answer right, um, we'll get a cup of coffee. Bop, bop. Bought and sold by Bay Cities Construction. Okay, the Cascade Series. Laminate, this is a laminate floor. It's available in 7 inches, 7.5 and inches, and 9 inches wide, depending on which one you get. They have some very exciting colors for this year. I'm gonna, we're going to show you a couple pictures of some of the, uh, the very common, popular colors. And, um, and I'm going to give you, at the end, I'm going to give you a rating based on quality, uh, looks, durability, and value okay that's gonna be my, my the criteria for the review right quality looks durability and value so the cascade series is 100% waterproof per the manufacturer it can be this means that it can be installed in any room okay so if you have an open floor plan you've got a, a kitchen you want to deal with you want to put this stuff in the bathroom also it can be installed in those locations and we have a bucket test i'm going to show you we've had uh, a couple of pieces in this water bucket for how many days now seven. seven days we've had it for seven days so i'm going to show you what the um how it's responded um by being in water for seven days and i'm going to also show you a picture of what um, any of the wood looks like when it's exposed to excessive amounts of water all right so there's um a great a good amount of colors and stuff like that and look I gotta tell you one of the exciting things about this not only just this flooring but the laminates overall is the the attention to detail and how real they look okay how nice the print that print layer right so you got the wear layer you got the UV layer a wear layer and then you got the print layer so the print layers is is what you're looking at right now you notice on some of these it's real light you got some knots, you got some, some real light sections, and then you've got some darker sections with more knots and different kinds of, of variations. They're mimicking, right, what natural wood looks like, and I think they're really doing a pretty good job. This is another color, the Havasu. A lot of people like this gray. If, if you, you know, it's funny, I, I always tell um, the folks here in my office, my designers and stuff, we always talk about how some people are brown peoples and other people are gray people. So like if you like warmer colors, you're gonna go into the browns and beiges and all of the other colors associated with that. And if you like the 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 grays, I mean that's kind of your your scheme. It'll be a version of 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 gray, lighter or gray or darker and blacks and stuff like that. So they've done a really good job, I think, of putting together a lineup of colors that look nice. It doesn't look cheap. Okay, this is a Yosemite line. I mean, this looks totally, for a laminate floor that's under five bucks a foot, and I can't, I'm sorry, I can't tell you the prices on this thing, but they're def, they're less than five bucks a foot, and they're they're more than, I don't know, two bucks a foot. So for, for the price point that it's in, it's an amazing looking floor. And it, it has uh, some tremendous colors. So these are, these are the 20 colors, I think, that were previous. And then I've got a new book here. With, uh, with some really cool colors. Ithaca, let's see, is it on there? Ithaca is not on there. So I've got probably another 12 colors. So the Cascade series, I think last year's line, they started off with this, with about 20 colors. And I've got a new book here. I'm gonna uh, show this up here, Brian. Let me get this up here for you guys to see. So there's a um, another Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten other colors. And it, it's amazing. Like like this first one here, this brown, has got kind of a, a two-tone deal. 
there's like a little bit of greens in there. I mean, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's definitely a display. If you guys are curious about the different color options, you can go on their website or you can book some time to meet with me. The the texture on here, it looks it looks really cool. It looks it looks very similar to their more expensive lines that um, that have like that wire finish. So that you know, walking on these, you feel definitely the texture um, and the surface of the material. Definitely, you can feel the grooves of you know where they're mimicking the grain of the wood. So on your feet feels real cool we've uh, installed a couple of jobs and we've gotten really good feedback from our customers about this we're gonna we're gonna be installing this new line in probably two of the next jobs we've got so here is our bucket test all right so we've got get these. hey guys I got to give these things away so you guys have uh, you guys go ahead and share don't forget to share so we got this bucket it's been in here for quite some time Actually, I should probably put it on this camera, I think. So, this is what you got. Now, typically, there's massive amounts of damage on here on the corner. And there is pretty much no swelling. Normally, this swells and it starts to buckle and it starts to fray. Can you see that? It starts to fray right here in the corner. So, when you get the next piece bumped up to it, they start to buckle. This material does not react with water. Um, you can see the, the rubber layer still intact. I mean, nothing's come apart. On here, this section here, we did have a little bit of separation of the rubber, you know. So one of the things that were that I discussed with the manufacturer is if, you, if there's a mass, like let's say your dishwasher blows out and you have to take these out, you can actually remove these, let them dry, and pop them back in. You know, these have been in water, submerged in water. You know, look how quite a bit for about a week now with uh, no damage. So consider that, you know, um, when you know when you're you're considering a flooring. So this is what it looks like. Wood, whether it's wood or the laminate engineered wood, on this uh, on this bucket test here. It's definitely it's definitely starts to warp out. Now, damage to flooring happens from for a number of reasons. Major damage is typically from flooding. You have a, a dishwasher that floods out, or or there's some kind of leak on the second floor and it, dr and it drains. But a, a ton of damage that I've seen, unfortunately, is people mopping the floors with a super soaked out mop, and they just like have a puddle of water back and forth on all the flooring that will damage the crap out of your floors it, it, it will destroy them okay i have no idea why people do that um but um, it's not a good idea so that's that's basically the uh the the engineer excuse me the laminate flooring part i want to talk to you a little bit about um the other line and and that's the uh how do you pronounce that shen, shen. shen line it's the shen line uh we did install I think we installed, uh, yeah, we installed the Chardonnay from the Shen line. So this wine is all, this this line, the Shen line is all named after different wines, okay? So, and again, you can see these, these um, many of these different colors on Urban Floor's website. Um, this is the construction of them. It's basically plywood, um, and uh, the wear layer is, is, um, is a 3.2 mil. Wear layer it's pretty thick. You'll never have to really sand these. These will wear in place, kind of like leather. So they're they're like the the kind of like a shabby sheet, but they're not they're not exactly distressed, but they're definitely um, not a traditional a traditional finished floor, right? Where it's all shiny and stuff. They definitely have a great UV protection, um, and uh, these go glued. These get glued onto whatever the subfloor is or the slab. Uh, this is from an install we did in Torrance. Um, this was actually the uh, the Chardonnay. That's from our Torrance project. We got a couple pictures here. Man, it looks great. You know, look, this room is small, and man, this stuff looks really, really nice. It lays out really good. It doesn't squeak. You know, we glued it. We used um, some real high quality Bostic Bostic's best glue, and uh, it came out pretty, pretty good. 
Uh, the composer line, we installed this over in uh, in Sherman Oaks, I believe. That's not the Sherman Oaks house, but that's a picture from from the Bach. So the, the composer line, they're all composers, right? Mozart and Bach and Beethoven. Beethoven, this is actually from one of our projects over in uh, Sherman Oaks. Real nice family we did this for. Um, we did the kitchen, and we, you know, we opened up the floor plan. We removed a bunch of walls and stuff, and... Um, this is a really big plank. I think this is almost like a 10, an 8 inch plank. Is it a 10 inch plank? 11 and a half, 11 and a half inch plank. Huge plank. For a, a big wide open floor, this is tip top. Um, all right. So let's get, let's, uh, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Oh, I can't show them yet. Let's, um, let's take a little quick break and we're going to talk about the, um, how they ranked, how the Cascade line ranked. I'm going to give you my, um, my feedback on the, on the on that particular line and um, we'll be right back do you want to save thousands in your next kitchen remodel do you want to come up with a perfect look for your kitchen remodel my name is Alex of Bay Cities Construction click below click below today hey folks Alex with Bay Cities Construction here I'm at one of my job sites to bring you an amazing offer we have never done anything like this before six hundred and fifty dollars will get you a full design my interior designers will work with you to come up with the best look help you figure out what it's going to cost and tell you how long it's going to take. All I need you to do is click on right here to take advantage of this offer. $650. If you've been thinking about doing a kitchen remodel and you just haven't been able to start because you don't know how much it's going to cost, you don't know what it's going to look like, please take advantage of this offer. I am so confident that you will love our design services, that you will love the look that we will help you come up with, that if you don't like it, I will give you all of your money back, 100% refund and I'll give you a $100 gift card just for trying us out. If you want to take advantage of this amazing offer, click the link below. Click it. Click it right now. My name is Alex of Bay Cities Construction. Click below. Click below today. Hey folks, welcome back. So let's talk a little bit about the ranking of the Cascade line. So we have four uh, criteria. We got quality, aesthetics, durability, and value. So for quality, uh, out of, you know, one out of five stars, okay? For quality, for the what the product is, okay? For a laminate flooring, the quality is definitely a four. I would be, God, I, I kind of want to give it a five, to be honest with you, because in its class, it's pretty amazing stuff. But, you know, um, I guess I think if, if we're talking about engineered kind of being the next step up, engineered wood and then a solid wood even above that, you know, I guess maybe you have to reserve um, the five stars for kind of like the next next level up in material. But in all honesty, for what it is for a laminate, I definitely think it's 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 a, I think it's a five. But for for to have some comparison to like the next level up. I gave it a, I gave it four stars aesthetics the 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 print on it and the way that it looks definitely a five star for durability a five star has anybody guessed what the uh, the warranty is on this if you look it up and you post it you're on your comments below I'll gladly buy you a cup of coffee or actually no, I'm buying you a, a dinner over at the uh, Olive Garden we did have one guess all right somebody, uh, somebody named Lydia said is it a 10 year uh, 10 Ten to lifetime, so ten slash lifetime. Was all right, all right. We can't we can't give up the the goods yet because there'll be some other people out there. It's gonna be some other people out there guessing now. So, she's so right, we'll let her know. Yeah, yeah. If you if you win, we'll let you know. All right, durability, five stars. It's it's pretty good quality. The um, the wear layer is pretty thick. The density it has uh, UV protection. Definitely definitely pretty nice stuff. Five stars for that. And the value. This is under five bucks a foot, folks. You get a, you get the look of like ten dollars a foot at a much uh, cheaper price. And again, I'm sorry, manufacturer doesn't let me post uh, what those things are, but it's definitely under five bucks a foot. All right, so folks, that is the review for the Cascade line. I just want to share with you a few other little uh, pictures of our job over in uh, Sherman Oaks. The Composer line. This was the Beethoven. And this is kind of a wide shot of the, we did remodeled the kitchen. There used to be a wall here. Pretty cool stuff. 
and you see the the, the planks are big and we did the whole house in this stuff and it came out great so if you uh, want to check them out you definitely go over to urbanfloors.com and you can see all of the new lines they've got another probably 15 or 20 product lines if you're considering doing a remodel we have an amazing offer for you we'll help you design your space for 650 bucks so if you're going to be do a kitchen remodel we'll do a kitchen remodel for 650 dollars guys you can't beat that you uh, hire a designer to do what we're going to do to spend the amount of time that we're going to spend with you you'll easily spend seven to maybe fifteen thousand dollars depending on how big this kitchen here is a, was a large kitchen and um and didn't get didn't get this good of a deal to be honest with you but um, but you, we will, we are we are willing under the special offer to remodel to design a kitchen that big for 650. Okay, so go ahead and take advantage of that. If you're doing, thinking about doing a remodel of your bathroom, we'll also do that for 650. We'll honor that price. So you should take advantage as soon as our schedule fills up. That offer will be gone. If you want to learn more about remodeling your house? Uh, please do not hesitate to visit our blog. We have over 400 blog articles talk about all kinds of remodeling and maintenance and all of that good stuff and it's here for you it's the library here for you all you have to do is log on to baycitiesconstruction.com forward slash blog and uh, you'll have you'll have access to that 100 percent for free if you want to know more about our company bay cities construction we've been around for 15 years that's our california license number and uh that's me to the right holding up the beam and Steve with the sunglasses, that's uh, my project manager. We're here to help you, he here to help you get started with your project, help you design your project, and uh, get the wheels spinning so we can get, uh, or get the cogs spinning so we can get your, product, your project started. We'll help you out with uh, doing all your architectural engineering services, represent you at the city, and manage your project. So don't forget um, to subscribe, like us on Facebook and on YouTube. That's how you'll know that when the next show is out. But every Tuesday evening, 5.30, we come to you live from uh, Torrance, California with a new show. If you have any uh, questions, you want to talk to us about a, an upcoming project, please give my offices a call. If you want to find out what people are saying about us, you can check out our reviews on uh, these sites here below. My name is Alex with Bay Cities Construction, reminding you, you don't need a contractor you need a team of pros. We do have some questions. What? We have some questions? We do. What questions do we have? Man? Um, Evelyn asks, how many days was that plank in water? Uh, seven days. Seven days. And Lydia says, that's definitely a 10-year warranty. Can't tell you, man. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, and we do have some, some questions for flooring. Okay, let's talk about some flooring questions. What do we got? Uh, one of the common questions that we get from homeowners is, do I need to order any extra when ordering flooring? Or yeah, you should, waste? yes, definitely should order about 10, maybe 15%. Um, and a lot of it depends on what kind of flooring it is, but the wide planks, you should probably at least get 10%, for sure. Uh, regarding SPC flooring, one of our viewers asks, is that tough enough for a rental property? I think that if you own an apartment building, this is what you should be putting in your floor. You should be changing your building out completely to this. Over time, the amount of money you're gonna save by not having to replace carpets is huge. The product is um, waterproof. If you have sections that are somehow damaged or there's odor from like you know pet urine or whatever, you can remove certain sections of it and replace them. It is, it is a, an amazing material that will, in the long term, if you have a rental property, it's, it's, it's the thing to install for sure. Uh, another common question that we, that we see is, can you install SPC or engineered wood flooring directly over a concrete slab? Yes, you can install it over the concrete slab. You can install it over existing wood. Um, there's a, there's a, yeah, you can, the only thing I wouldn't install it over is I wouldn't install it over a tile. If the tile is, has a lot of um, dimples and stuff like that, or it's uneven, I would definitely remove the tile and install that. But you can definitely put it in over concrete and um, and over uh, uh, an existing hardwood oak floor or something like that. I'd probably do a little prep work on the floor, but because this this is totally free floating, folks. This is not 
Where's our bucket? This has got a rubber piece. This is not not glued. See, it's got a rubber piece, so it's free floating. You just basically sit it, you know, put it on a on a nice even surface, and you're good to go. So it's got this rubber this rubber below it. You know, before some of the older products, you had to put an underlayment down and then put this, but in this case, you just put this down and you're good to go. What else we got? Uh, another question is, what product do you recommend for pets? I think this is a great product for pets. If uh, you got a nervous puppy and stuff and you have little you know, little urination problems, um, this is easy to clean up if, as long as it's, you know, right away. I think over time, any any flooring, right, if, if you have a dog that pees on it all the time, you're going to get a certain amount of smell. But this won't be damaged by it. Like, you can remove this, clean the area below it, and then put it back. In theory, you know, if it's... In some cases, you just may remove it and put a new piece in, you know, the, whatever area got exposed. Uh, time is always a priority for homeowners. So how long does an installation... Or this type of product take? Oh, you can you can install a matter of a day or two, depending on how many square feet you're putting in. But I I think uh, you can do a whole house like in two days, maybe three, maybe. And the thing is, you know, there's no glue, so you're not waiting on stuff. Like you you lay this down. Like let's say you move empty things out of one room, you do that room, you put stuff back in that room, and then you keep going. You know, because you don't have to wait for glue to dry. It's, it's ready to roll. So it's it's pretty fast. I mean, if you were to glue, if you were to glue even engineered wood, you have to glue it and you have to let it sit overnight. If you walk on engineered wood while the glue is hardening, it'll, it'll, it won't glue right. It'll, it'll have air pockets in it. And then it'll squeak and make noise and it'll drive you crazy. So there's no glue in this. This is free floating. One of our viewers, the looks like they have pets is asking will this withstand wear from big dogs will big dogs scratch it up nope they won't scratch it up the wear layer is pretty darn hard it's pretty good stuff even flooring like if you put this in a in a dining room you got the chairs rolling back and forth if you've got some felt on the chairs you know uh, as long as you don't have anything jagged on it it'll it'll wear it will resist wear very good Another question, I think it's about the SPC flooring product, yep. is what's the edge profile on the Cascade series? They're, they're, it's seamless. The edge is real tight. Um, they don't have any uh, bevels if you're worried about that. Some people don't like like a, a little groove in between the planks because it holds dirt. These have a very tight seal. Very tight seal. Uh, another question is... Uh, can you expect to hear squeaking from these products just like with a hardwood floor? Okay, no squeaking. Um, well, you, if you, would, you would hear squeaking um, if you put this over oak and you didn't nail the oak down. You could definitely expect to hear some squeak, but it's going to be from the oak floor. If you install this over concrete <clears throat> or areas of the floor that are unlevel, like a slab that have a little bit of, of unleveling, They'll, you'll feel a void when you're walking on it. And you you, you got to kind of come to terms with that, okay? Because this thing is not glued. So there'll be areas where it'll feel a little spongy. Not necessarily have any noise, but it'll feel a little spongy. And that's the nature of, that's the nature of this stuff, right? Like it's not glued. There is no glue. It can't be glued. So if it's uneven a little bit, it could, you could feel a little sponginess. And, um, and that's okay because that's just what it is. Uh, another question that we got is, will heavy furniture dent the floors? This is a very hardcore uh, center. Um, I would be really, other than a piano, other than a piano, you should not get any denting from furniture on this. Um, if you have a piano, you got to put in those uh, pressure cup things under the wheels and you'll be good. But like a uh, coffee table and couches and stuff like that, I don't, I don't think you have to worry about that. Uh, another question that, that we got is, do you have to take any special consideration in hot climates? I don't think so. I don't think so. And uh, one last question is, can you expect color variations on some of these floors? 
Well, I think that if you buy uh, a batch of the same stuff like a year or two later, you, you, you know, it's possible. If you buy some extra, let's say you buy 15, maybe, maybe even, uh, maybe 18% extra and you have some stocked away, like, like if you have, if you're going to install this in a, uh, in an apartment building, I would buy a significant amount extra so that you could, uh, I mean, you got to assume, right, that your tenants are going to destroy your floor no matter what you put in. So you want to have some extra there so you can just do a spot repair. It's still way cheaper than replacing all of the flooring. Let's say you got to replace an area that's two feet by three feet or something like that. You you just buy extra. Well, um, that's what I would do. And one last question: Do these products need to be glued? Nope, they don't. They're not glued. It's glue free. That's why it's cheaper. You know, you can spend almost for Bostic's best. That stuff we use for engineered flooring. Man, that, that stuff costs a lot of money. It's uh, it's two and a half, two and a half gallons of Bostic's best for 125 bucks. You know, and it, it you need a lot of glue to, to get that stuff down. So this doesn't require any glue. That's why, you know, it's it's so inexpensive. You can get it popped in for less than five bucks. Okay, so if we don't have any other questions, we're gonna wrap the show up. We'll be back next week. We have any other questions? We got some more freebies. Hey, give me the, those caps. You want you guys want some caps? Go ahead and share. Don't be stingy, man. Share 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 some like us let people know that we are out here we're here we do a show every week for you and uh love to answer your questions don't forget to post your questions below and uh we'll be here next week my name is alex bay cities construction reminding you you do not need a contractor you need a team of pros Save thousands on your bathroom design. Hire us for $650 to do your bathroom design today. Click on the link below, come on. Hey folks, Alex with Bay Cities Construction. I'm here at one of my job sites to bring you an amazing bathroom design offer. $650, we will do the entire design for you. Floor plan, we'll help you pick out the tile, the countertops, plumbing fixtures, paint color, everything you need to know about your bathroom remodel design. I am so confident that you will love our design services, that you will love the look that we will help you come up with, that if you don't like it, I will give you all of your money back, 100% refund, and I'll give you a $100 gift card just for trying us out. Save thousands on your bathroom design. Don't hire a designer. Give us a call today. Let's book a free appointment. Let's get you started. Click on the link below. Click on the link below and let's get started today. Click on the link below. Come on. My name is Alex Rodriguez reminding you, you don't need a contract, you need a team of pros.